but I was wondering why is it that all of you and uh, uh, the rest of the Republicans on Capitol Hill, why aren't you all demanding that uh, Biden be impeached? Every one of you should be pounding on the desk and demanding that he be impeached. And another thing is, why are we... Yes! Uh, come on, everybody. Clap. Yeah! It's a goddamn time. And another thing is, why is our border being wide open? Why are people crossing the border in uh, hundreds of thousands? Right now, the, uh, we have between six, five and six million visa overstays right now. They're all to be deported. Right. And ICE has a backlog of one million deportations right now. That means right now, today, That's right. we've got eight million people to be deported. And the border's wide open, and you guys aren't doing anything about it? You leave Marjorie Taylor Greene all by herself up there? You leave, uh, what's your name, uh, well. Bobert? You guys should be in unison demanding the border be secured and demand that Biden be impeached. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes. Yes. So, uh, this is actually a really important issue that you've raised. And if you've heard me talk for the last hour, you know how I feel about it, right? I talked about border security. I went down there myself. Uh, I'm going to give you a serious answer to your serious question. You know, why is the border still open? Because we, as Americans, have elected a bunch of people who believe that the border should be open. Not me, not you, not Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene, who are, are both freshmen with me and are good friends of mine. In fact, I talked to Lauren uh, today, actually. Uh, but we have elected people who believe that the border should be open. And I could give you some stories that would, would make your hair stand up. In fact, I'll tell you a couple, uh, since we're talking about border security, just so you know how bad the problem is at the border. I went down there a couple of months ago with the Border Patrol and took a tour. And what I saw was, when the new administration came in, they issued an executive order that halted construction on the border wall. You remember that? When they meant, when they mean halted, the wording of that order was draconian. They meant everything stopped. So we had sections where the existing wall had been torn down, the new wall was being put up there in two sections, where they had to just stop it. And there was a pile of construction material sitting there rusting next to it and a wide open border uh, opening right there with no one guarding it. We had other sections where this was existing section of border wall, not, not border wall that had been built, existing sections of border wall where we had gates with burned out electric motors. Uh, it, and then they burn out, you know, from time to time, and they have to be replaced. But the gates were standing wide open. When I asked the Border Patrol, why are these gates open? They said, because we're not allowed to repair the motors. That's considered, you know, that maintenance is border wall construction, and we're not allowed to do it. We've been fighting that ever since. Uh, and just last month, we finally got permission to let the Border Patrol fix those. What I'd like to see from you and the other Republicans is aggressiveness. Yeah. We've got to push these people. Right. We have to every day push them and fight them just like they fought Donald Trump. They, they did everything they could to ruin the man. And everybody is meek and mild in the Republican Party up there. And I'm not, you know. And we can't have that. We can't have meekness and mildness. Well, we have to have guys that are aggressive and mean and can go out and make it happen. So uh, my, my counter to you would be it takes people from all different walks of life and all different approaches to politics to move us forward as a country. And we have the people that are pounding the table, right. and we have the people that are the muscle behind them, but, and we have people that are policy people that are pushing policy forward. So we are all fighting for the things that we believe in. Well, I, I, what I want to see is uh, aggressiveness. Yeah. We've got to push harder. We must push harder, even yes. though we're outnumbered. We cannot tolerate the open borders. Mm -hmm. I belong to the, uh, the, the, the uh, Remembrance Project. These, these, we, we deal with people whose family members have been murdered by illegal aliens. Sure. Oh, yeah. and I bet so. There's thousands, 
thousands. Oh, Fred Agnes Gibney. Yeah. yeah. She's, we know her very well. Uh -huh. In a five-year period, 23,000 Americans were killed. These people were all killed in violent murders, violent, every one of them are violent deaths. And they're not doing, and, and Joe Biden is leaving the border wide open. And we're standing by and allowing that old kook to do that? So my answer to you is just because it continues to occur does not mean that we are not fighting against it. Well, right? I, all I'm saying is, I know, I want to see aggression. I want to see meanness. I want to see you guys unite as a group. Unite together. I want to see you guys having, uh, what do you call it, press conferences. Yeah. Constantly, a constant drumbeat of impeach Biden. A constant drumbeat, we want the, the border closed. I want you to do that, Jay. I want all those guys up there. Do it, make some noise. We want to hear you. We want to see you on CNN. We want to see you on Fox News making noise. All right, message received. I tried.